Hey, what's going on guys? Real quick, what do y'all think of my new intro? It's simple and similar to the one I took from Blender Power in my past videos, but I animated and created this one from scratch, all on my own. Thanks to people like Blender Power though for dedicating their entire channels to helping others. Alright, so AMD. The Radeon Pro Solid State Graphics, or SSG, was announced just a couple of days ago. This is a professional level GPU, which seems real nice. Just take a look at their presentation right here. But you can see, it's actually not bad. You know, I thought it would be worse, but the best system that costs over $10,000 can do 17 frames per second, 8K raw video, okay? It's not real time, it's not smooth, but it's okay, okay? So now let's see what a system that is equipped with Radeon Pro SSG can do. Smooth 30 hertz. Battery smooth 30 hertz. But that's not even stressing the Radeon Pro SSG because it's locked to 30 hertz, right? You know, so if you unlock the frame rate, it is running over 90 hertz at 4.5 gigabytes per second straight out of the Radeon Pro SSG, right? You know, over 5x speed up on... <laughs> on an on an important workload. Omar, why don't you show scrubbing of the video? You know, if you are a video editing pipeline, you can take hours of video, 8K video, and scrub back and forth in real time. Right? He's moving back and forth in the video, right? So it's not just playback. It is also editing that is enabled uh, by, by, you know, by this Radeon Pro SSG. So this GPU will be capable of scrubbing through 8K video just as if it were 30 FPS on your little flip camera over here. This is crazy. What allows this GPU to perform so well with large video files is that it has the PEX8747 chip which allows the GPU to use M.2 SSDs connected to your motherboard giving this GPU maximum possible VRAM of 1 terabyte at the moment, although it's only in beta. The card will use two 512 gig Samsung 950 Pros in RAID 0, making this stupid fast. In the demo shown, the new Pro SSG was scrubbing on the timeline at around 4 or 5 gigabytes a second read speed. Let's compare that to apparently the fastest SSDs out right now, and we see the OCZ Revo drive coming in at 728 megabytes a second in first place. <laughs> this GPU will be reading files at more than five times that speed. Holy guacamole. But hold up, wait, don't get too excited just yet, okay. It's only possible to buy the beta version of this card, and it'll cost 10,000 USD, so that's about 21 times more expensive than the OCZ drive. And of course, this is only for production purposes, computation purposes. The GPU in question will not likely perform well in games like other compute cards out right now because it's just not made for that. I do think this would be a great upgrade for my 750Ti for video production. Just look at it, I can't even scrub through 4K, let alone play it at native FPS. You sad card. All in all, this card is looking to be real nice, but the catch is that this GPU needs to be developed for specifically. However, if this thing really is all that great, and there's nothing else to compete with it, then maybe, just maybe, we'll see it widely supported. AMD is on a roll. Let's see what yeah. RX 470 and 460 have in mind. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe and give this video a like to show your support. As always, any relevant links will be found in the description below. Stay tuned into the channel for the next giveaway that I will be hosting for a new Steam key. If you hated my voice or something, please drop a dislike and comment down below on what you'd like to see improved. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 